হ্যালো ফ্রেন্ডস ওয়েলকাম টু দামোদর শেঠ আমি আপনাদের ফুড গাইড অরিন্দম আরও একবার চলে এসছি আপনাদের সামনে আমরা ছোটোবেলা থেকেই স্কুলের টিফিনে ঝালমুড়ি খেয়ে বড় হয়েছি এরকম কোনো বাঙালি স্টুডেন্ট পাওয়া যাবে না যে টিফিনে ঝালমুড়ি খায়নি স্কুলের টিফিন ব্রেকেই আমাদের সাথে আলাপ হয় এই ঝালমুড়ি হ্যাঁ আজ আমাদের এপিসোডটা ঝালমুড়ি নিয়ে আমি আপনাদের দেখাবো না ঝালমুড়ি কি করে বানায় বা কোথায় ভালো ঝালমুড়ি পাওয়া যায় আমি আপনাদের দেখাবো কে ঝালমুড়ি বানায় কলকাতা তথা পশ্চিমবাংলার অলিতে গলিতে আপনি ঝালমুড়িওয়ালা পেয়ে যাবেন কিন্তু আমাদের এই ঝালমুড়িওয়ালা একটু আলাদা ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ঝালমুড়িওয়ালা নামটা অনেকটা ভোজপুরি সিনেমার মতো লাগলো তাও বলবো এই ভদ্রলোক আমাদের বাংলার ঝালমুড়িকে আন্তর্জাতিক বানিয়েছেন লেডিস অ্যান্ড জেন্টেলম্যান আমি দিল থামকে ব্যাঠিয়ে নাও উই আর গোয়িং টু প্রেজেন্ট আওয়ার ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ঝালমুড়িওয়ালা মিস্টার অ্যাঙ্গাস ডেনু আমরা ওনাকে পাই এগডালিয়া রোড ক্যাফের সুরজিৎ রাউতদার কল্যাণে অ্যাঙ্গাস যখন কলকাতায় আসবেন বলে ঠিক করেছিলেন তখন সুরজিৎ দাই ওনাকে অ্যাপ্রোচ করলেন তার ঝালমুড়ি স্টলটা এই এগডালিয়া রোড ক্যাফের সামনেই লাগাতে এই দেখুন কলকাতার রাস্তায় কলকাতার মতন করে একজন ব্রিটিশ নাগরিক আমাদের ঝালমুড়ি বানিয়ে খাওয়াচ্ছেন ব্যাপারটা গুজব নয় সত্যি আসুন আমরা আলাপ করে নিই অ্যাঙ্গাস ডেনুনের সাথে আর জেনে নিই উনি কি করে এই ঝালমুড়ি বিক্রির পেশায় এসছেন most uh, a little bit let's seep into the history a little bit why jhalmuri how did you get introduced to jhalmuri i do jhalmuri because uh, i was lucky okay and sometimes fate works in strange ways and okay. this led me to sell jhalmuri through a stopover flight from australia that made me land in kolkata on the last day of the puja and i knew nothing about anything like that and i was going which to- year is this this was 2004 2004 okay yeah. that's 16 years okay yeah yeah uh and i was just didn't want to be in the city because i'm not too much in the cities but so i was going straight to darjeeling okay so i bought my ticket and i was waiting outside the darjeeling uh for the darjeeling express as i still there okay and the drummers were starting for the puja for the night and okay i've never seen drumming her drumming like it it's thrilling okay and that's uh so to see and okay. the next year i made the same trip Okay they are uh, sorry sorry to interrupt they are unable to hear you you have to speak a little ah, okay. louder Okay yes So the next year I came and I stayed longer this time Okay uh, and I started making a film on all the street food Okay uh, because I used to be a chef I had an interest in the food particularly the beauty of the hands when you're chopping and the people who do these jobs every day they're so Oh so interesting so you are actually a chef as, yeah, yourself yeah, as well I was, wow I was trained as a chef when I was since young and uh, you know worked in restaurants and hotels and all that and then i gave it up because it's hard work and uh, it would have killed me okay so then i had a shop and i ran a shop for a while and then i sold my shop then i had a little bit of time in my pocket a part time and a bit of money in my pocket and okay. that took me to australia to just work out there and it was on the way home from australia that i stopped in kolkata wow and uh, and as i say on the second time i stayed longer and i started making a film on the street food okay and that basically brought me back to Kolkata every year for 10 years. Okay. The, the film took a while to make and then I did a little book and then other little bits and pieces occurred. And uh and after the first time I returned to England after doing uh, the initial filming, uh some friends wanted to film me doing something in a market in uh, South England. And okay. They said, "Why don't you do one of the snacks you've been filming in Kolkata?" And I thought, "Ah, cuz I didn't know much about the food then. You know, I didn't know what the snacks were called or anything." Uh but then ah there was that one with the puff rice and it was all cold and I liked the look of it and I used to eat it a lot so that's when I first did my jalmuri a very bad version of it um but when I served it to the english people everybody liked it wow and that's very unusual because okay. often with food you do it um and it can be nice but if it's outside people's comfort zone they're not going to get it but this one everybody from different walks of life they all got it and that I thought wow that's interesting Well, I was living on the road at the time so I could run this from the boot of a car or on public transport. Okay. Uh it's very tasty, it's like healthy, it's nutritious. So where all have you sold it till date? 
all across uh, London and beyond? London, all over England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, wow. Scotland, France, Spain. Wow. Uh, many places, yeah, many places. Costa okay. Rica. Costa Rica as well? Costa Rica, wow. Um, Jalmuri at Costa Rica, that's Jalmuri, something. Yeah. Everyone likes it. Everyone okay. likes it. And actually, there are a lot of similarities between particularly the Mexican food okay. and the chats. Okay. They have like the three chutneys. They have a green chutney, a brown chutney, a red chutney. A bit like the chats here, like the Harry chutney, the, the Kashmiri chili chutney, and also the tamarind chutney. Wow. They have lime, they have onions, they have konia, uh, dania. Okay. So there's a lot of similar things with the flavors. Wow. And you can get all the things over there too. Correct. So when I do this, I took the puff rice with me because they didn't have the such things. Yeah. But no, everyone gets it. And now puff rice is also available, I guess. Not, not, not over there. In not the over UK there. It is, yeah. yeah. Not, not, not everywhere. You can make your own. Yeah, but it's absolutely. Here, the, the varieties of rice are different. They're of made course. for the Muri. So of course. They, they make a better kind of puff rice. So since you have had the Jhalmuri out here and you have been selling it over the years yeah. across Europe and beyond, yeah. uh, how would you uh, talk about your own Jhalmuri? Is it the same that we get on the streets of no. Kolkata? No. It's a little cold. different? When okay. I started doing it, uh, I kept it as traditional, as authentic as possible. Okay. Having it quite dry, large percentage of Muri, a little bit of chana chur, peanuts, you know, and mustard oil, quite a lot of that. But having it very dry, and just a little bit of level. But the English people, they like it a bit wetter. Okay. So then I started having the Imli chutney, and they like the, more like the bell chutney. Okay. Uh, I cook the Imli with the jaggery. So it's a little sweet, a little sour. I don't like it too sweet, but they like, they don't want it too sour. They like that little bit of sweet. Okay. And then I put some powdered ginger in there, roasted cumin and chili powder, black salt. Wow. Fascinating. So it kind of evolves and also I make it a little bit more vegetable. So okay. it's cucumber, coconut, dania, I often put like a sprouted gram in there too. So there's less percentage of muri and a little bit more vegetable. Uh, and do you know the serve and the chana dal peanuts? Because wow. I think they like a little bit more. So they can have it for lunchtime at Correct. a festival, for, for example, and that will see them happily till the evening time. Wow. So it's more, it, can, it becomes more of a bigger thing. Lovely. Like here, the chat, it's you know, 10 rupees off, and it's, it's nice, but it's not going to last you for too long. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's evolved, uh, but you have to do what your market wants. Yeah. Correct. Um, and I think it's, you know, it has its merit. You know, Absolutely. when I come here, I love the way they do it because it's very Bengali. Um, but I know when I've tried doing similar in London, it's, it's not so popular. You have your Bengali customers in London? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I'm they're sure great. you have. They're great, yeah. <laughs> And also because in London, you don't have, um, with West Bengali, Kolkata folk, for example, they don't like live in one area. Absolutely. Like a lot of the Gujaratis, they live in like one area. Correct. In the Bangladeshi, another area, the Punjabis there. But you get the Kolkata guys all over. All over. So you can kind of be anywhere in England, and then there's a Kolkata person say like, oh "My God, you know, you're selling it. It's just random." <laughs> and at the end of England, I've seen someone on the cliff. Okay. They were walking, and I was doing Jamuri for the surfers, and they would they just see this guy, and it just they were like tears in their eyes. So, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Amra Jamuri khete khete onashatu yakhon golpo korchilam, jante parlam. Uni mota moti London e. तीन डॉलर के झालमुरी बिक्री करें एवं प्रतिदिन गौरे पोनरों थे के कुड़ी के जी मुड़ी बिक्री करे थके बुझ दबा चें लंदन है ये झालमुरी क्रेज कोटोटा प्रतिदिन कुड़ी के जी मुड़ी अमरा चेष्टा कर ची प्रति मासे एटलिस्ट एक टा कोरे इंस्पिरेशनल वीडियो आपना देश में तुले धरा खावा दवा शादे जुकतो প্রতিমাসে থাকবে যাদের দেখে বাকিরা আরো ইন্সপায়ার হতে পারে थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब